Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me, and welcome back to the Long Dark Interloper, where I think we're going to go ahead and head on out here in a minute. I am down to 75% condition. I didn't realize I was that low, so maybe we're going to go ahead and crash out for a little bit. Actually, I don't, I'm not tired, so we probably shouldn't. Let us um, let me go ahead and let me grab my torches right quick, so we can go ahead and use those. Um, let me grab that lamp oil too, and what else do I need? We'll grab that torch, too. I don't think I need anything else. I think we're going to be good. Let me double check on stuff. Let's see. That's enough lantern oil I can make a, a torch if I need to. So what we'll do is when these torches burn out, we can use those sticks and a cloth to actually make, and this lantern oil to make a 100% torch. So we're going to just hold on to these and hang on. We're going to wait. I mean, 38 out of 66... Uh, um, 38 out of 66 pounds of weight. It's not that cold out. It's not that cold out. I think we're going to head out. I think we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to try to hit this forge if we can. Last episode, I went ahead and I made sure that I, I, I had everything I needed, but not too much. So I think we're going to be all right. All right. It's going to get cold in a second. I have a feeling. Awfully blue the sky. But we're like, it's like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm hoping that it'll get warmer as time goes by here. So we cross our fingers. Now, there's going to be a bear on this, uh, on this, on this island here coming up. So I, I don't know if I want to go left or if I want to go right. Maybe we'll just maybe we'll just go to we'll just hug the right hand side of this this island right here, and then we'll uh, we'll just keep going straight. I think try to make uh, as much time as we can, best time that we can. Misanthrope is known for having wolves on it every now and again, so I don't know whether or not they will, but. We should be fine. I gathered a bunch of cattails in the last episode, so I feel confident about the food situation. We will we will need water if I have to if I have to crash out somewhere, hole up somewhere. But I think we're gonna be alright. I should probably gather some firewood down the road, but we'll see how that goes. Now I know there's a bear over here on the other side of this, so I gotta be careful. Hopefully he's not wandering around too too close to this corner. Cross your fingers. Wish me luck. I'm going to need it. And I don't see the bear, but I guess it's a good thing. That's a good thing. We only have one arrow down in, 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 uh, in temperature, but... The wind's whipping pretty hard, so. Hopefully we'll get through the broken highway before it gets to be too much of a problem. Before we, like, lose too much too much temperature. I definitely want to get into the mine shaft before it gets dark. Like, I don't have a bedroll either, so that's, that's not, that's not going to be fun. I'll have to gather 15 sticks. We'll probably start gathering sticks right now. I may have to make a snow shelter. And we're going to need a fire, too, if that happens. Um, shoot. Hopefully these little houses don't have any wolves floating around in them. That'd be bad news. That's a rabbit. Okay. Oh, there's the bear way over there. I don't know if you guys can see. I guess you guys, I don't know if you guys can see that. I think he's heading my way. We should be well out of his way in a, in a minute. Like, we should be away from him here in a second. Okay, so we got to hang a right right here. Hopefully we don't catch a wolf on this road here. Should be all right, though. 
Going to make tools, baby. Super good stuff. All right, let's go ahead and see if I can warm up just a little bit in here. Yeah, the temperature's going up a little bit. But I don't know how long that's going to last. Mm, I don't think we're going to wait. I think we're going to keep going. Yeah, it makes more sense to keep going. Because it's just going to get later. And when it gets dark, it's just going to get colder. So, let's go ahead and um, let's grab the regular flare. We'll save the marine flare. Like I said, if I have to, I can turn those torches into a 100% torch for the, for the duration of the uh, mine shaft. So... But I hate to I hate to have to use use a match, but I mean we do have a fire striker, so that's fine. Alright. Cross our fingers, hopefully we don't run into a wolf. We probably will though. Okay, temperature's going up a little bit. Oh, now it went down. It's being finicky. I do have a hammer on me, so fighting off the wolf might be a little easier, but he's going to definitely tear me up if he gets, if he gets his claws into me. Let's... You know, I, I didn't check this backpack, I don't think, when I came through here last time. Oh, I did. Did I check the entire basement? We're gonna go. go we're gonna double check right quick. It's warmer in here, so like I could spend a, a second, but I checked all this, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna spend the time here um, warming up because more of a chance of a wolf showing up. I need to get to that. I need to get that mine shaft. There's always a dice roll in here. Ooh. I mean, I've got, I've got a, a flare, so I should be able to, like, get past him. Unless he comes around a tree and then I, and he's too close, then he'll just attack me. We're not going to bother with that cave. There's the mine shaft. I'm so nervous right now. I don't know if I can get up here or not. I don't think I can. Uh, -uh I can't. All right. Probably should be crouching right in here, but we're not going to. Can I get up this? Nope. I'm gonna have to go all the way around, huh? Shoot. Get up there. Come on, let me up, 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 let me up. There we go. Now I'm gonna crouch. All right. All right, run. Woo! Nice. All right, we made it. We made it. We made it. Cool beans. Like I said, this is the most... That was the most hair-raising that I've, I've... Situation that I, I can ever be in in this game, for the most part. It's right there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's, let's, let's put this down. Oops. And let's go ahead and let's break this down right quick with just our hands. All right, we got some wood. But what I want to do here now is I want to go ahead, I want to break down. Three of these. I didn't want to waste them. 
I mean, I didn't want to break them down until we got in here. We're going to turn these... We're going to turn those three into a regular torch, a 100% torch. Uh, right here. There we go. It'll take 15 minutes, and then I'm going to use that 100% torch in this in in these mines. So, let's go ahead. And, cause I got to pick up... I got to pick up coal along the way, so... Hundred percent torch. We're gonna use the fire striker. There we go. All right, now we can pick up coal along the way. Feel a little bit better with the hundred percent torch than I did before. So, we'll save the flares for the wolves. Got a journey to get to the forge, man. It's always a pain in the butt. All right. Hopefully I've got enough. Enough space that I can pick up all the coal along the way and not get overburdened. Sure we didn't miss anything. I don't think we did. I think we got everything. Blow and steady wins a race, y'all. Oh, yeah, crowbar with this guy. I didn't search this guy. I didn't see him last time. Oh, we're leaving that crowbar. I already have a crowbar on me. Good to know it's here, though. Okay. Do, 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 do. And it works. Ooh, lots of coal, lots of coal. How much do they weigh a piece? They weigh 0. 0.6 pounds a piece. So, but I need as much of it as I can get my hands on. Let's go this way and grab this piece here. And another piece over here if we can. Yep, nothing there. And we've used 80% of our torch, which is great. It's not too bad at all. And all of this. Now, let's go ahead and uh, let's put this out right quick. And let's check our weight. We're at 54 out of 60 pounds. Now, because I'm getting tired, I'm starting to lose out on my on my uh, my weight. But how many pieces do we have of coal? 22. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go and collect all of the coal in the next mine, be overburdened, and then we're going to go ahead and drop whatever we can't carry to get to the Kraken. But we're going to spend the night um, at the cannery, I guess? Yeah, at one of the... one of the, uh, the whatchamacallits, the trailers. Because it's got a bed there, so I don't have a bedroll. So I'm kind of I'm kind of screwed like... Like I don't know what. Uh, there's that torch. I'm gonna pick that torch up. Nah, yeah, that's just a stick. All right. We're warm, and the temperature's only going down by one, one arrow. So I'm happy with that. That's super good. I mean, we're losing condition, but that's just because I'm hungry. I do need to make some some freaking um, water though. Like before we go and try to find ourselves a, a place to crash, I could crash at the lighthouse. I guess we might try that. Maybe we'll try. Maybe we'll go to the lighthouse and go to sleep. Let me do... I think, yeah, I think we might do that. Let's go over here. Right quick. I'll grab some sticks. It's not that cold. But it is going to get dark here in a minute. So we might do that. Because I need to get my condition back. Because it's going to be almost... It's going to be exhausting. I don't have any coffee. Coffee would allow me to to, to forge at the, at the Kraken... Pretty easily, 
for a couple of days. But it takes a while to, to make all this stuff. So let's go ahead and break these crates down. Uh, 45 minutes or an hour. We'll, just, we'll spend the two hours to do this. We'll break these crates down. Hour and a half. That's two and a half hours. Oh, I'm dehydrated. Shit. Drink the rest of my water. If we go to the lighthouse, I can, I'm going to have a stove, so I'm going to be able to cook there. So that's good. Cross our fingers. Hopefully we don't run into a wolf. I don't like traveling at night at all. Wolves get super aggressive and they're super quick at night. Oh, it's a freaking deer. Oh, that deer scared the shit out of me. If I can drop onto the ice, at least I can see where, if something's coming at me. It's really warm right now. Oh, that's deer tracks. I love the way that the, if you pay attention, the uh, the animals leave tracks in the snow. So do you. You leave tracks too. What was this? God dang wolf. Here we go. Gotta use the, gotta use the flare. That's what it's there for though. That's what it's there for. Timberwolves won't, um, oh my god, dude, I'm so glad that I heard it, or I saw his, his tracks, I saw his tracks, man, <laughs> I was like, you know what, all right, so we're going to get to the lighthouse, Hopefully, as long as I don't run, he shouldn't he shouldn't attack me. We should be fine. Oh, did I go the wrong way? I went the wrong way, boy. Yep, he's going to make me... I'm going to have to circle. Walk with confidence. God dang it, boy. Confidently walk away from him. We may actually just go. If he's not going to follow me, we might actually just. Oh, there, he's right there. Dude. It's a good thing there's no Aurora. If there was an Aurora, he'd be, he would be attacking me no matter what. I might, we might actually hit the Kraken. There's, oh, yeah, there's a bed in the Kraken. I can just sleep in the Kraken. We'll just do that. Hopefully this torch will last me all the way to that, that, that ship. I think it'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> right, he's following me. We'll be all right, though. I'll just keep walking. He'll just... Uh, you get a little aggressive every now and again. I have a fan. I have a stalker. No running. Cannot run. There he goes. He he backed off. He backed off. Ooh, that was scary. We're fine though. So I can't really do anything until I get, um, like, I eat and I get awake. Cause I don't want to. I don't want to lose condition over this. All right. Well, I didn't get the amount of coal that I wanted, but hopefully it'll be enough. All right, let's go ahead and, um, we're definitely warming up in here. That's great. All right, we're going to crash out here. 
for, actually, let me eat and drink right quick. Let's go with, um, well, that's 250. And that's 400 all in all. That'll make 550. And that'll make 700. Although, I should get more out of it than, than what it says. 700 or 694. Um, we'll do one more just for good measure. And I'll drink all the rest of the water I've got. Um, get me full? It did. All right, now we're going to sleep for 10 hours. Cross our fingers. Hopefully it... Oh, yeah, here we go. There we go. Are we good? I hope we're good. Yeah, four days. Okay, we are dehydrated, though. All right, I'm back all the way up back to my uh, full condition, so that's great. And that's that didn't quite fill me up, but it's good enough. All right, we're going to walk down in the dark here. And temperature is fine, so we're going to... You guys can't see this, but I'm going to take this metal shelf, and we're going to cut this into six pieces. It's going to take two, two hours and 15 minutes to do. All right. So now, to make arrowheads, we're going to need one scrap for two arrowheads. So I'm going to make six arrowheads. So that's going to be six scrap metal. Then I'm also going to need to make... Let's see, where, what else am I making here? Wait, simple arrow. What? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, I'm also going to need to make... There it is. And we're also going to make an improvised knife, which is going to cost uh, three scrap metal. So I need two more than I've got. And then for that, and then I've got, and then I'm also going to make, an improvised hatchet, which is five. So I need seven more than I've got right now. So I need five. Oh, wait, no. One scrap makes two, so I only need three for that, so that's going to be four. Plus a hatchet, which is five, so I need one more for, for the hatchet than what I've got. And the improvised knife is three. So I need four more pieces of scrap, so we're going to have to go and scrap. Let's we'll scrap this metal shelf. Two hours and 15 minutes. All right, so we're good. That should be enough. I've got a cloth on me. We should be good to go. We grab all of the coal we've got. And I'm going to go... No, I won't do that. All right. For the furnace. Let's go ahead and... 50% chance of success. 70% with this. I don't think I've got a book on me, do I? I don't. Okay, so that's fine. Actually, let's start a... Let's, let's, let's start a... Use a torch. You can, you always want to start with a torch, so. All right. Do it. Well, that didn't work. It will, though. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Is it lit? All right, it's lit. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Or making tw you only put 12 hours worth of uh, worth of uh, fuel in a fire, so 
That's all. I'm going to do it all. But I need water first before we do anything else. So we're going to make water. Make a half gallon of water. All right, take that. We're going to make another half gallon of water. And then we'll go ahead and drink our fill right quick. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and let's eat. I'm going to eat half these cattails. That way I gain my condition back while I'm doing this. Or I think I'm going to be doing this for like six or seven hours. That's five. We'll do six hours for right now. And then we'll drink our water. Oh, I mean, well, six cattails should carry me through about six hours of work. Okay, so that's good for that. And let's go ahead and we're going to actually pass the time till this is ready. And then again. Now we've got enough water to deal with, with whatever we need. All right. So the forge, has, okay, we've, got, we've got eight hours on this right now. So to forge, um, we're going to forge, let's see, which is more important. Arrowheads are more important, so we're going to craft six arrowheads. It'll take three hours to do, so yeah, let's do that. Then we'll have five hours left. Never been so hungry in my life. All right, so there's our six arrowheads. And then let's go ahead and what am I? I got 331 calories. Four hours on this. How, much, how long is it going to take me for this? Well, actually, here we can just look at the forge and it'll tell me. Improvised knife was going to take three hours, and the hatchet is going to take four hours. So I need seven hours worth. Let's go ahead and go to the furnace. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. I'm going to need more water when this is all done. So we're going to go ahead and go with... We're going to eat. We'll go two more. And we'll drink some more water. All right, we're doing okay on on being awake too, so that's good. Improvise hatchet, do it. Nice, all done. All right, next we got the um, improvised knife, but let me see what I, I've got. I'm, I'm a little hungry, um, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna eat a couple more. Yeah, we're going to eat a couple more cattails. And I think I can eat one more cattail, and then that will leave me enough for more than a day's worth of food. So that's good. Once I get done with that, drink our water. We're at 0.74 gallons. We're doing pretty good on this. And then the we have 7 hours, 27 minutes. we got plenty of time to make our knife. So we're going to make our improvised knife. There it is. All right, guys. So it is the middle of the night. I think I do. I have any more? I'm gonna need to rest. How much more scrap do I have here? Let me let me take a look here. I have two. You know what? I can make four more arrowheads. And that'll take two hours. I think we're gonna do that because I got four hours left on the furnace. So we're gonna go ahead. And we're gonna make two more arrowheads or four more arrowheads, just so that I have them. That'll give me ten arrows. I don't think I'm gonna need ten arrows ever. That just used all my food. So we have exactly 18 calories left. I'm, only, I'm encumbered. I have 55 out of, okay, out of 40 pounds because I'm super tired, right? But I've got four pounds of, of coal here. We're going to get rid of that. And I have 20 freaking cattail heads. I don't need those. 
<laughs> but I don't need two pounds of cattail heads. We're going to drop all of those, and then I'm going to pick up a three. That's all I really need. All right, I've got ten arrowheads. We have a, we have a hatchet, or, and we have an improvised knife. Those are all the tools that I need in the game because we have the hacksaw, we have the hammer. I'm super excited, guys. And we're at 54 pounds, which means we have a, we're light enough we can make it home without a problem. 55% of my fire striker, to eat. which is super good. Um, okay, so in the middle of the night, it's, again, it's almost morning. I'm super tired. We're probably going to sleep until the afternoon before we head out. How much water do I have on me? I have a half a gallon of water after I drink. So what we're going to do is let me grab a torch out of here. And then we're going to head up to the bed. And we're going to call it a night, guys. I think we're good. This is a success. We were good. I just need to make sure that we travel in the afternoon when it's warm. And we get a good night's rest. That's all. Let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and I think I put that away. There's the bed right there. So, but first, let's go ahead and let's eat. See, that's I need 750 calories worth to get me through a sleep. That's 300. That's 600. That's 750, and that leaves me two cattails just to take the edge off down the road. We'll go ahead and drink our water. And we're almost full condition, guys. Let's go ahead and uh, we're going to sleep for 10 hours. Boom. It'll be in the afternoon by the time we get get up. We should be good to go, I think. Pretty sure. The game is saving. And I'm ready to head on back to the house. Let me get some water right quick so we're ready for the next episode. All right, guys. I know this is a little shorter than the last one, but I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to call that a success. So anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you. We'll see you in the next video where I'm going to try to make it back to our to our cabin because yeah, we have to get back there. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.